the Rare Fishing Channel. Today we will share information about around the sea world. Let's explore the sea. Largemouth bass fishing. Largemouth bass are one of the most exciting species of fish to catch, especially on artificial fishing lures. They strike aggressively, fight hard, and will often leap out of the water in stunning displays of acrobatics. They are one of the most popular game fish in the world, attracting the attention of millions of anglers every year. There are tournaments, television shows, podcasts, and even video games dedicated to bass fishing. The largemouth bass is a freshwater game fish that is part of the Centrarchidae family. It is a carnivorous fish that is indigenous to the eastern and central United States, as well as northern Mexico. In terms of color, it is greenish-gray, dark blotches form a horizontal line that runs down each side of the fish. The top jaw extends past high of the base, and the bottom jaw juts out further than the top jaw. In other words, they have an enormous mouth, from whence they get their name. How long do largemouth bass live? The growth rate of the largemouth bass depends on a variety of conditions. including the food supply and the surrounding environment. Under ideal conditions, they will grow as much as 2 pounds in their first year. The average rate of growth is approximately 0.5 pounds per year. What is considered a trophy largemouth bass? Northern largemouth typically top out at about 10 pounds. While in the south, a female largemouth bass can grow as large as 20 pounds. Usually, anything between 8 to 20 pounds would be considered a trophy base. What is the current world record largemouth bass? The current world record for the giant largemouth is a two-way tie. In 1932, George Perry caught a bass that weighed in at 22 pounds, 4 ounces. In 2009, Manabu Kurita caught a largemouth bass in Japan that weighed the same amount. What do largemouth bass eat? Largemouth bass are carnivorous fish, and they feed on a wide variety of prey. When they're smaller, they feed on things like small baitfish, small shrimp, insects, and scuds. As they grow, they begin to consume smaller fish, like bluegill, crawfish, frogs, snakes, snails, shad, little water birds, bats, and even baby alligators. Adult bass that live in larger lakes and reservoirs tend to occupy deeper water than younger bass, and their diet reflects this. They primarily eat small fish, shad, yellow perch, shiners, sunfish, etc. and the younger members of larger species of fish, catfish, trout, walleye, etc. Amazingly, bass can consume prey that are greater than 50% of their length. Largemouth bass tend to grow slower in weedy waters because it's more difficult for them to find and catch food. However, if there is no cover at all, Base can completely wipe out the population of prey, 
and thus effectively starve themselves. What is the best bait for largemouth bass? In terms of live bait, fish, like shiners, minnows, or shad, and crawfish work very well since these are what bass usually eat. Because largemouth bass are carnivorous, the best artificial baits tend to be those that mimic their prey in some way. Bays are aggressive predators and will also attack a wide variety of artificial baits. If you look at the most used lures, you'll notice that they don't all look precisely like the natural prey of the bays. The key is that each bait has some specific feature that attracts bays, such as flashing in the light. What are the best artificial baits for bays? Jigs Jigs are weighted lures that usually have some skirt that pulses in the water and attracts the base. They can be used in shallow or deep water and are useful in a variety of environments. Crankbaits. They have a lip on the front that causes them to dive underwater and wobble as they are retrieved. They work in almost all types of weather and can be used in a variety of depths of water. Jerkbaits By jerking the rod, anglers can give the jerkbait a lifelike action, making it attractive to the base. They are useful in a variety of weather and conditions. Rubber worms they can be rigged in various ways, allowing them to be used in both deep and shallow water. Conventional methods of rigging rubber worms include the Carolina rig, Texas rig, drop shot, and weightless. Rubber prey baits. This includes rubber crawfish, rubber salamanders, and rubber frogs. Like worms, rubber prey can be rigged in a huge variety of ways, making them useful in many different environments. Spinner baits. Spinner baits have metal blades on them that rotate when pulled through the water. They can be used in deep or shallow water, as well as in a variety of environments. Swim baits. Swim baits are known for having particularly lifelike action. Their tail shakes when retrieved, and they also have a natural rolling motion. This is a deadly combination, these two actions create vibrations in the water that attract base. When is the best time to fish for largemouth bass? The best time of day to fish for largemouth bass is usually early morning, dawn until 8 a.m., and evening, 5.30 p.m. until dusk. Bass are visual predators, relying on their keen sense of eyesight to help them identify and attack prey. They can see better in low light conditions than most of the prey they hunt, which is one reason why early morning and evening tend to be particularly good times for fishing. Bass can ambush their prey without first being spotted. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you later!